Working with Windows 7 Windows 7 is a popular computer operating system developed by Microsoft. Windows 7 was released on July 22, 2009. It is the most popular operating system used in personal computers. Some of its features are Themes Windows 7 offers us colorful desktop background, desktop icons, mouse cursors and sound schemes called themes. Desktop Slideshow This feature periodically changes the desktop wallpaper based on an interval specified by a user. Libraries The Libraries feature in Windows 7 provides a central place to manage files and folders. Speed Windows 7 is faster and has a shorter boot time than the previous versions of Windows. Compatibility Windows 7 is more compatible than previous versions of Windows. All the software and hardware that support previous versions are also compatible with Windows 7. Lower hardware requirement Windows 7 needs very few changes in the hardware. That is why it is supported by multiple hardware types. Start menu Windows 7 launched with the updated start button and menu that provides the access point for programs and applications on your computer. Taskbar and notification area Taskbar in Windows 7 mainly contains four components Start button, Open programs, Quick launch bar and System notification area. Windows Snipping Tool Windows 7 includes an application to capture, save and share screenshots and snipped images directly from your desktop. Starting Windows Follow these steps to open Windows 7. First, switch on the computer system. After some time, you need to log in. Give your login details and password. You will observe that Windows 7 desktop will appear and will have features like desktop background, icons, start button and taskbar. Desktop background, which is the image that covers the desktop. Icons, the small pictures on the desktop. You can double click the icons to open a program. For example, click the paint icon to start drawing. Start button, clicking on start button opens the start menu that provides access to all the installed programs in the system. Taskbar is the long horizontal bar at the bottom of the screen. It contains icons of most used and currently open programs. Start button. The most important part of the taskbar is start button. It is used to access installed programs or other Windows accessories. The start button can be found in the bottom left side of the screen. Many options are available in Start button menu. Click on Start button to open Start menu. Files and folders. Just like a wardrobe or Elmira keeps your things organized, a computer's disk, which is a huge storage space, helps to organize data or information properly. An Elmira has racks for storage, while a hard disk is divided into smaller storage spaces called drives. Each drive has a name associated with it. You can create your own folders in these drives to keep different types of files separately. File management means organizing and managing of files and folders. A folder is a container for storing programs and files and other folders. A folder can hold different types of files such as text, 
pictures, music or presentations. Let's see how we can manage files and folders in Windows. Creating and naming folders. You can create a new folder on desktop or in another folder. Right click on the blank area and select new option and then click the folder option. Type any name of new folder and then press enter key. Renaming and deleting folders. You can rename or delete a folder at any time. First, right click on the folder and then select rename option. Type the new name of your folder. Press enter key. If you want to delete any folder, then right click on the folder which you want to delete and now select delete option from the menu. Or you can also select folder and then press delete key from the keyboard. A confirmation message will appear. Select the yes option to delete the folder. Creating and naming files. When you open the folder that you have created, you will see that it is empty. You can create new files within your empty folder. To add a text file, first Right click in the blank area to open context menu. Then select new and select the type of file you want to create like a word document. A new word file is created in your folder. Opening files or folders. To open a file or folder, right click on file or folder and select the open option from the context menu. Alternatively, you can open any file or folder by double-clicking the left mouse button on the file or folder. Sharing files and folders Sharing a file and folder means allowing others to use your file on a network. Follow the steps to share a file or folder. Select the file or folder which you want to share, then right-click on it and select the Properties option. Properties dialog box will open. Click on the Sharing tab. Now click on Share button to share it. File Sharing dialog box will open. Select Everyone and click Share button. You will see that your folder is now shared with everyone. Shortcut button Shortcut buttons or keys are sets of one or more keys that provide an easier and quicker method to navigate and execute commands in a computer program. Shortcut buttons are used to perform any action by a single operation. Here are some of the shortcuts of Windows 7. Pressing the Windows key opens or closes the Start menu. Pressing the Windows key and D together will display the desktop or the application where we are working. Windows key with M will minimize all windows. Windows key plus E is the shortcut to open computer. Windows plus F to search for a file or folder. Windows with L is the shortcut to lock your computer or switch users and with R to open the run dialog box.